You'd be shocked to find out there are some crazy people out there trying to impersonate police officers. However, things go south when they are actually confronted by the real cops. On May 3rd, 2021, the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office received multiple calls about a disturbance in a trailer park. Soon the deputies arrived at the location and encountered a bizarre situation. Right, you come my house, you left my wife? What? You come my house, you oh. left my wife? Who? Okay, okay. Who is he? This guy. Come here. Come here. Come here. So that's all my hand right now. That's so hot. Ow! Yeah, they're not comfortable. Hold on, let me get them off. Ow! Ow! Oh, that's so hot. If you stop moving, I'll get them off. Oh. It's going to be harder. Thank you, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know anything. Why are you doing that to me? Relax. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my the cops were surprised to see the woman in handcuffs. According to them, one of their neighbors had just come inside their home claiming to be a cop and restrained her. The officers relieved her from the pain and went over to talk to them. Do you guys know this guy? I don't know. Oh, He's over Can you stop yelling? Oh, thank you. He said, hey, the bullets. He said what? He said, hey, the bullets. Yeah. He called my house. He said he's police. Yeah, he's an officer. Uh -huh. He called my house. He locked with my wife. He just walked in your house? Yes. Yeah. He walked in my yeah, house and he locked with my wife. He locked my house. You know. And he got a gun I, I too. Think, he got a gun too. I'm scared. Okay. What were you doing? Why would he do that? I don't, I don't know. He just sit here and he tells my wife come out and he locked my wife. Too many times already. He's too many times already. He's too many times already. Not one time. Inside with, you know? Yeah. He come to my house, lock to my wife. Are you guys Vietnamese? Yeah. Yes, we are Vietnamese here. <coughs> the deputy was having a hard time understanding the situation, and that's when he called for backup. A few more deputies arrived and confronted the suspect, who had a different story for them. Hey. All right. I want to blow my brains out. Um, they started an uprising with the music being very loud, very, very boisterous. I told them, I said, please couldn't turn it down. Uh, the guy right there in the jeans who was put up to the other officer, he, uh, he hit me. And, and who, she who is was, pardon me? Who is at the hay? The gentleman right there in front of the other light. The one that's lighting yeah. the cigarette? Uh, okay. He hit me and, and she was being very belligerent and I wanted to keep her away, I put her in cuffs. I'm a former officer up in New York, and I'm just upset with her. I so told you put handcuffs on somebody? Yes, I did. The suspect was identified as 67-year-old John Switzer, and he accepted his actions earlier without any problem. Switzer claimed that he was a former cop, but that doesn't allow him to go on people's properties and handcuff them. Because you were upset with her. Well, no, because I'm tired of the plus he hit me. I know it's probably wrong. What did she have anything to do with that? She was getting in my face. Okay. What's your full legal name, sir? John. Is it Timothy. John or Jonathan? John. Okay, when well, you went over there to tell them to turn the music yeah, he down. So what are you wanting to do as far as that? Nothing. I, I, I just want them to turn the music down. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. The right. guys have to come out. And you're at lot 270, which is over here. Right there. Okay. Are you armed right now? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Everything is in the house. Locked up. John got upset by the family playing loud music and went over to confront them. However, he was armed with his handgun and also displayed a badge to them before he cuffed the woman. The deputy went back to John and heard his side of the story once more. It just drives me nuts. I mean... What, the music? Oh, yeah. I mean... Why didn't you just call us and we can come tell you know what? it down? It's you that guys, simple. You guys come, they turn it down, you leave, they turn it back up. Gotcha. And he, she's grabbing her identification. He uh, he's always been wanting to fight me. Who? 
uh, Asian guy sitting down or smoking a cigarette. Okay. Okay. He's always wanting to just like. He comes over, you know, and asks for advice and stuff. And, Which and one do you live in? I live right over there. Sunny Florida? Tired of the cold? No, it wasn't that. It's just that I needed to get away because my brain was. I worked like 80 hours at the Trade Center. Gotcha. I had a, a friend of mine that. Uh, that died, his mom died two weeks prior, and he had a tattoo of, on his hand that says, I love your mom. And when we were crawling in there and everything, that's all we found, his arm from here down. John appeared visibly frustrated by his neighbors, but it's still hard to comprehend how he thought it was okay to handcuff her instead of calling the police. Uh, but, you know, Usually what you have to do for something to get done is find several neighbors that are like-minded and you sign a paper and you send it in. Yeah, a lot of people don't want to get involved. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I just can't stand the boom, boom, boom. boom. I mean, yeah. this gentleman here, he speaks uh, Spanish, you know. You know, and I don't understand Spanish a whole lot. Do you mind if I go in and grab a mint real quick? In the house? Yeah. No, I'll kick on the house. Moments later, a female officer took away the poor victim and interviewed her regarding the story. Tell me what happened when he came over. Okay. When he came over to my house, and I sit down to next door to neighbor, and I saw him step into my house. I say something, maybe something wrong. Because too many times. Wait, 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 wait. He went inside your house? No, and right there. Okay. Uh huh. He said he called my husband come over. Because my husband, he went, I don't want, he came over. I said, Daddy, you have to stay there. Let me take care of that. And uh, he said he want to rape my husband. I said, No, my husband inside to my house. What happened? You have to talk to me, please. He said he won't grab me. Okay, I say right, why? Right. Hold, hold on, hold okay. on just one second. Okay. It seemed as if John acted out of rage and made a poor decision. The woman and her family didn't seem to be people who would cause a problem. Another officer arrived on the scene, and fortunately, he was bilingual and could understand the situation much better. Hello, cảm ơn thượng để như muốn giải thích cái câu chuyện giúp cô thầy giải thích câu chuyện của nay bị gì tại sao từ từ đầu tới cuối nha ok à chị thì chị ở bên nhà của con bé bên kia tại đi làm về đó hàng sớm đó thì chị ngồi hai chị em nói chuyện với nhau chị ở đó hả không chị ở đây nhưng mà hàng xóm anh em ngồi ở đây thì ở đây nhưng mà chị là ok em út đi làm về cực khổ thì nó mời qua ăn cơm thì chị không có ăn chị ngồi nói chuyện nó thì chị thấy ông mở cửa Ông, 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 à, cái ông đó đó, ông mở rồi. cửa mà ông cầm cây súng Dưới cây còng qua nữa, chị thấy gì sợ quá, ủa chuyện gì vậy Cây súng, súng nữa em Ở đâu? Nó cầm để bên à, đâu? Là... Không, ông cầm, ông đi về nhà dưới lại cây còng okay. Thì à, ông mắc chồng của chị ra, tại vì chồng của chị uống bia okay. Khi mà chị chạy theo, chị thấy chồng chị uống bia, chị muốn ẻn đi cho bồ Thế nên chị nói đấy đi, cứ ngồi đó để em thấy khe Đợi 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 chút nha, lúc mà cây súng thấy màu gì vậy? À, màu đen em nhỏ lợi của vậy à, hình như là nó cũng cỡ dài ba dài vậy it appeared as if John had just completely lost his cool and gone over to threaten the neighbors however things were about to get even more bizarre okay, okay, so, so he had the gun did he point the gun at her no 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 Anytime nó được quyền bắt uh -huh. thì chị mới hỏi ổng chứ chị làm cái gì sai uh -huh. mà ổng đòi còng chị uh -huh. thì ổng nói một câu tại vì ổng là cảnh sát music của mày làm cho tao không có feel accountable uh -huh. rồi cái ổng nói mày put your hand out còng là ổng còng chị uh -huh. thì lúc đó thì ok ổng còng chị xíu quá chị đau chị không biết làm sao ổng chồng chị nói giận lắm chị nói đấy đi anh cứ ngồi im đó cho em ở Mỹ đi có luật pháp ok em gọi điện thoại là nó lợi nó hép liền anh không cần ra tay thì chồng chị thấy chị đau quá chị gên thì thì thằng chồng của chị thật sự có nói lợi xô ổng đi ra khỏi pháp cái tiền của chị John handcuffed the woman so tightly that her wrists were bruised and blackened and she later developed additional bumps and bruises it's commendable to see that a citizen had more trust in law enforcement than someone who had been a former cop 
This incident highlights the kind of narcissistic and pathetic cop John truly was. The woman who was later identified as Uyen Nangu Yen refused to be let go as she knew it was important for the officers to see this evidence. You know that no. Oh, okay. Um, so this will be a lot. That's why I'm gonna translate halfway every time. But um, I know so. No, là hiện giờ đang là cảnh sát hay là hồi xưa? Nó nói là nó là cảnh sát. Hiện giờ. Yes. Oh, right now. Okay. So he said that he is an officer. Yeah. Hiện giờ đang là cảnh sát. Yes. Nó show cho chị cái thẻ rất là nhiều lần lắm rồi. And show her an ID apparently. So he was being like, he seems like being aggressive towards her, so he just pushed him off the property. I'm waiting for law before I get out of my car. But that was after she was put in handcuffs? Yeah, that was after. Okay. Cô muốn anh nó đi tù không? Yes. Yes, you have to do the law. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. you have to do the law, please. Okay. Um. I have, I have uh, a high bone. Uh, I, I, I need to talk to her husband. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 The officers were shocked to discover what John had done, and their investigation was almost complete. They approached him and questioned him about his actions one last time. Uh, have you previously requested to speak with a attorney? Uh, no, just okay. wanted to see so how far having, it goes. Having the rights in mind, do you want to clarify some details for me real quick? Absolutely. Okay. So when you first went over there, did you identify yourself as a law enforcement officer and have a badge and gun in your possession? That they you know that I am. That you are a law enforcement yes, officer? Yes, ma'am. Former law enforcement officer. Okay, there's a big difference. Well. Yes, and yes, I agree. I so, did, did you specifically say I am a police officer? Not to them, no. Okay, did yeah, you because have a, I am not. Did you have a badge that you showed to them? No, I have not. Okay, did you have a gun in your hand that you were? No, ma'am, I have not. So you did not have a gun. No, ma'am, I have my cell phone. John lied to the officers and tried to evade their questions. However, the officer wasn't buying it and refused to take him at his word. Okay, and what specifically was said when you made contact with them about the music? I asked them please to turn it down. Okay. Because it's been going on long enough. Okay. Every night it's the same thing. They play the music so loud. I'm sitting in my easy chair trying to listen to TV. And all I hear is boom, 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 boom. Okay. Normally it's this gentleman, but he seems to get finally got the picture. They move from over on the other side of me to here. And I've asked them if... Do you remember specifically what words you used when you asked them to turn the music down? I said, no, I just said, could you please turn the music down? Okay. What was their response? And who, who were you talking to when you said that? Okay. Even if his accusations were right, he should have called the cops and let them handle the problem. However, John thought he was above the law, and just because he had a gun and a badge, he could abuse his authority. Kind of, kind of the general group. And okay. the oriental gentleman with, in the blue jeans that was smoking the cigarettes okay. like that, and the lady in the red shirt. Okay, so you said, can you please turn the music down, and what was their response? Pardon me? What was their response to you? They, they 
she came running up from somewhere, I don't know where, behind me. And uh, she said that, uh, we'll turn it down, we'll turn it down. But it never happened. Okay, was there some sort of threat? Was she striking you? Was she, no, she was not, she but was I could tell. She was talking loudly. Talking very, they're, they're all drunk. They're, okay, so they, she, she was just talking. And what very, made you... Very, loud. If, if he was the one that was causing violence to you, threatening you, whatever you perceived the situation to be... Yes, ma'am. Why did you handcuff her? She was being very belligerent, and I figured she was the biggest threat I had. Okay, so you said you had your cell phone in your hand. Yes, ma'am. Did you ever think about dialing 911 to allow I, us the opportunity I, 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 to I, I, deal I, I, with this instead I was of... On, I was on the phone with uh, dispatch at the time to get, you know... At the time that you placed her in handcuffs? No, uh, before. John's statements weren't making any sense, and it was obvious that he was lying. Soon, the officers decided to bring an end to this painful altercation as they went on to arrest him. Okay. All right, go ahead and stand up for me. I'm going, I'm going for a ride. Yes, sir. Can I lock my door? I'll yeah, let we'll you do that in a minute. Point. Stand up. Absolutely. Do you have the house keys on you? No. Um, he just dropped the house key on the No, ground. those are handcuff keys. If you go to... Um, uh, through the door, uh -huh. through the right, uh, if you look on top of the dishwasher right above it, Thank you. All right. And just to clarify, what agency are you prior law enforcement with? New York. New York. State. State, the state of New York. The city. Of the city cop. NYPD? NYPD. Okay. And what year did you retire from there? 2001. It was pretty ironic and somehow satisfactory to see how John was suffering the same pain of tight handcuffs that he had inflicted on the poor woman some time ago. Karma did make sure to get him this time. Right by the door that says Florida Investigator Sergeant, where did that come from? I was from? a private investigator at one time. A Down private here. investigator, yes. okay, but not law enforcement? No. Okay. How many years did you work for NYPD? 25. Okay. I can't, well, let's put it this way. Under one name, I was one. I did a lot of undercover work too. Um, so I had one or two aliases. <laughs> so, but that's my real name right there. However, just by the end, the officer found out that he wasn't even a former police officer, but only used to be a private investigator. Well, that pretty much sums up the entire case. The officer then proceeded to take him to the police station where he was charged with impersonating a police officer and false improvement. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see a case where a former investigator tried to impersonate a police officer and even went on to handcuff the suspect. The crazy guy even threatened her with his gun and badge, trying to abuse authority which he never had in the first place. Fortunately, the cops apprehended him and took him to prison. I can only hope that he receives the punishment he deserves, and I extend massive appreciation to the officers for holding him accountable. Next, we have this security guard who tried to boast himself as a police officer only to be humbled moments later. On November 7, 2023, an off-duty New Mexico State Police officer saw an automobile trying to pull him over, having blue and red police lights. He called the police department right away, shortly after Officer Galliono arrived at the scene and approached the person. How are you doing, sir? What's up? Officer Galliano, State Police, who are you with? Teal. Do you have your uh, identification card and everything? I'm sorry to bother you, but... Yeah, this guy's been following me. And so I know who it is. This... Okay. So, I understand you were slowing traffic down on the highway? No. You sure about that? 100%. Can you go ahead and pull that out, please. How you doing, sir? Good. What's your Who's name? In charge. I'm in charge. Okay. What's your name, sir? Sorry. Okay, sir. I was told that you were using your car like you were a police officer. No. Well, you showed it, right? It was oh. in my truck. I told you to show it in your truck. You're on private property right now. You have your driver's license, sir? No, I'm not giving it. You have that.
Ronald Portillo, a private security guard, was the person in question and thought he had the right to detain anyone. Okay, well... I'm in charge of this right now. Okay. You're in charge of what? I'm charged with this property and other properties. Okay, and that's fine. But over there on the highway where you lit up cars and you were using your car like a police car. There's no proof. Okay, hear me out. I'm investigating something, right? And if you refuse to give me your driver's license, I can detain you and arrest you. Okay, detain me then. Okay. Turn around. No, no. Don't no, resist. No, no. No, no. no, no. Resist, man. No. Hey, knock it off. Uh, knock it no. Hey, go. I haven't done anything wrong. Portillo thought he could simply get away from the cops, but he was apprehended right away. In the end, the cops arrested the fake cop. Hey, don't man. Stop I pulling away. Stop pulling wrong. away. Don't do it. Knock it off. Well, then why are you now, resisting? Now you're resisting arrest. Now you're resisting. Could have just gave me your ID. Hold on, let me I bit. gave you ID. Could have given me your driver's license. I understand that. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. You have any other weapons on you? Well, mains. Okay. You got Max. Any other weapons, sir? Mains. Is that recording? Yes. Excellent. The cops searched Portillo after handcuffing him and put him in the back of the cruiser. What do you got in there? Where do you keep your cuff keys? No you got cuffs. Where do you got the cuff keys? They're all my love. Dirty checkers. I mean, this could have gone a lot easier, man. It was easier. I gave you my ID, and that's who I was. Oh. Now, as for your driver's license, you refused. Yes, sir. Because I didn't break the law. Yes, sir. No, did. sir. I didn't. Okay, well, I was investigating you breaking the law. Okay, but that's still not breaking the law, right? Okay. Nothing else? All right, do me a favor. Have a seat here on the sidewalk. No, I don't want to sit. It's on my phone, just a little bit. Handcuffs are not meant to be comfortable, man. I know. Do you want to sit on the sidewalk or in the back of a unit? How about if I lean against the unit? You can sit on the sidewalk or in the back of a unit? If I just lean on a unit. All right, back of the unit. I have then. a bad back right. from Iraq. Well, we'll be gentle. You got to be gentle. The cops attempted to speak about his actions after he was taken into custody. Remarkably, he continued to feel that he was entitled to stop anyone. You didn't light anybody up. All right, hold on. I live in Edgewood. I come here, I walk in. This is my first post. Then we go to Central and we go to Central and Eubank. And we just run all of those all the way down to uh, the. I didn't light them up. I didn't do anything. I know that's against the law to pose as an officer. I'm a PPO for the state. I work for this company and we're cleaning house here. And getting close and getting close. I asked him to show his ID. He refused to show his ID. And so I started backing up. Look, yesterday, last night, we busted a guy that there's so much shit here. There was a rape, there was a stabbing. There was a guy yesterday that I, that went into the, into the place of the, uh, what is it, the laundromat, next to the laundromat. He went in there, then he tried to carjack somebody. Portillo gave a strange justification for his behavior, and it was clear that he didn't think that his behavior was a problem. Thankfully, the police intervened and attempted to reason with him. When you guys stopped me, I, I, was, I didn't do shit wrong. It's just that when you ask for my ID, I haven't done anything wrong. So that's why so your, your entertainment we're talking to, we're just leaving an investigation. Advised you were investigation. All right. At that point, you are obligated to provide. Am I in this? Well, sure. Okay. Stay active now. As PPO officer, you should know that. I do. But so, that's if I did something wrong, though, I said, show me where the badge is. He doesn't go. I mean, if he's saying his badge is there, and even you guys, why wouldn't you show your badge? He I'm said it's in his, no, no, in civilian clothes. Mm -hmm. And I gave you the opportunity, I'd back up. I said, go ahead, get in your vehicle okay. and show me your badge. Then everything would have been smooth, but he didn't want to do that. Well, I mean, you know. Portillo refused to admit that he had turned on his red and blue lights. At that point, the captain approached him to confront him about the incident. The U.S. County Sheriff's Department whenever you were in the, on the highway. 
That's the problem. So whenever I go, so when I got to the right, your right front headlight, you turn on your lights and try to stop. Okay, that's how I felt. That's why I immediately that's how, out. That's how why I immediately moved to the right, and then you shut them off. So I'm like, okay, this is weird. Number one, dude doesn't have a license plate, and now he's turning his lights on at me. That's why I, I contacted uh, the on-duty officer. The on-duty. Okay. So, and then you continue to do this little evasive thing. There's okay. no are you evasive. I'm not being evasive. This is my, this is my patrol. This is, this is, this is, this is you're assigned right here. Where you you I'm not just assigned. Hang on. Can, can you hit that side button and shut it off? Or, or tell him, yeah, hang on. Because he consistently denied having done anything unlawful, Portillo's entitlement was on high. However, the captain raised an important issue that rendered him dumb. So this, this is, is where we come, come this, this is where, where I come first. first. Now, now let's, let's rewind, rewind. Yeah, I understand what, what you're saying, saying. and like okay. I said, it, 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 your presence here, when you're dressed, your vehicle, all of that, on private property, just like you said, you own this property, it's private property, Right. absolutely valid. Again, going back to the interstate, why did you turn on your lights on? I didn't turn on your lights on. You turned on your blue front lights whenever I went to your right front. I didn't. How did I know they were blue? I don't know. Okay, cool. There's, there's shit all in there, there. So, so I don't know. know. If, if I did, I didn't know. know. Because, because I usually turn on my lights here because, because I was going to go to the latest. Like, it's going to... The captain wasn't going to fall for his lies and kept persisting in asking him to tell the truth. I understand that. Right. But what, what you're doing right now, okay, by, by trying, trying to... As far as what? As far as lying. Okay, so, so by, by... Oh, I didn't turn on my lights. lights okay, so, so now number one you're doing is you're trying to make me out to be a liar. I'm not trying to make out to be a liar. Just let me finish, okay? It's like... I'm all about respect. Okay, okay go ahead. You can ask these guys. Go ahead. Like, like they, they, they want to talk to me. They want to even yell at me. I shut up. I listen okay, because ahead. it's so important what I'm they listening. say. Okay. But you I'm sorry, are not all of, no, I understand you're getting out of the sun. So all of this that you're trying that you're doing, okay, on a daily basis to help society is going in the toilet because you're minimizing your actions and you're failing to own what they did. That's going to change the outcome of this completely. Right. 22, I understand 22 that, uh, years, man. 22 years. In every aspect of law enforcement that you possibly mm -hmm. can. Okay. From spec ops to, like, which is our SWAT dive team. Oh, yes. Yeah, SWAT. Okay. okay. To, no, I wasn't SWAT. But, but all, all those types of elements, okay, to investigations, to patrol, to command position, okay. So the whole thing of I accidentally turned on my lights, it doesn't apply. And whenever you try and associate it to a mic that you can hit with your chin, like it, it's silly because I hit my mic. Okay, yeah. I hit my mic a million different times, right? I they've recorded me telling bad guys things on my mic, but that's completely different from whenever you reach down with your hand. It's probably on your console someplace down here. What's your red light? It's, it's in the, the center, center next to where my cup is. Okay? So, for the fact that you turn them on at the exact time that I get to the right front to pass you and make me believe that with that positioning, you're stopping me, and then all of a sudden they turn off whenever I go to pull over, whenever I'm like, oh, shit. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you. So, soon the authorities came to the conclusion that although Portillo might have made a mistake, his motives were sound and he was, in fact, doing admirably on the roadways. This understanding helped in reducing the tensions and facilitated a far more peaceful exchange of ideas. So, are if, we good now? If he opens that door, I'm going to grab you and me and him are going to crawl, me and you are going to crawl in the back of that because <laughs> I am not about getting bit. <laughs> so yeah, just go sing it. His name is... His name is Zeus. So. He doesn't know. He is certified. No, he doesn't know. So we clear um, quality in, uh, days in, um, Motel 6. Again, don't minimize what you're, what you're, like, or justify. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to justify it. It's just, you're doing good for the community. By lying, it's like, it's taking your credibility and it's destroying Away. it. I understand. Man, like, understand that. Like you're doing good. Right. Quit lying. Right. Be a good person. You're, right. You're and that's what and path. that's what I talked to Pete Castellas. The cops were relieved when Portillo acknowledged his error following a cordial and courteous approach. 
it's a learning thing, but you know, I apologize. You know, I apologize to you guys, but you know, I I, I just come from a different world. Well, if you don't make statements like that, just future reference, because what you're what you're saying is that you can't perform. No, I. No, I. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if one of these guys were to tell me, hey, man, I'm just used to combat. I'm just used to fighting. Cool, bro. He's not jobs, not for you. Although Portillo avoided facing several accusations, he was never going to get off with a clean slate. Are we good? No, um, you're actually going to be, I'm not charging you for resisting or concealing ID. However, we are charging you for impersonating a police officer. We're going to write you a citation. Okay. There's going to be a report. You have a court date, all that stuff. Officer Power is getting that ready for you right now. He'll bring it to you and he'll explain it to you in a minute. It is a full misdemeanor, just so you're aware. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, you can use your lights and your authority here in the parking lot. Right. Or wherever your private property that you're contracted to be. If you're on the highway, you're in the city of Albuquerque, you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, you are not a police officer. Correct. You cannot do that. If you would like to become a police officer, we're hiring. Yeah, it's great. The cops eventually released Portillo, but not before giving him a penalty for posing as a police officer. But in the end, the case was dropped without a charge because the arresting officer neglected to sign the citation. The police department did file the charge again, but Portillo did not enter a guilty plea to the case. The matter is still pending as of now. If you think this person was insane, you will be shocked to see what this other person did. Beside the fact you're wearing a patch that says sheriff. Okay. I, I, That's impersonating law enforcement. I've worn all the time at the jail before, though. On January 1st, 2023, the Oklahoma Police Department got many reports regarding a guy who was pulling individuals over without cause and was impersonating a sheriff's deputy. Later, two policemen were sent to confront the man. Do you have any weapons in the car or anything like that? Like no, a gun or anything? I don't, like I, I don't even have a gun. If this is going to cause problems and the truck's over there, I, I'm just going to take out the vest and I'm from Tennessee. So, okay. why are you wearing the vest? Well, like I said, I drove from all the way from Tennessee, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to have people call me when I don't even live in this damn state. Okay. It's going to piss me off. You're, you're a deputy sheriff? I, I, well, I mean, I work at the sheriff's office. Okay. So, I mean, what? Were you a corrections officer for yes. the sheriff's office? Okay. Why do you wear a vest outside of the facility? Is this an I mean, agency this is, vehicle or is this your personal vehicle? This is my Kia. Okay. It's just a little odd because whenever I worked in the jail... The I, individual was recognized as Jackson Jones, a 19-year-old who claimed to be a corrections officer at the sheriff's office. It was eventually discovered that he was just employed as a jail administrator and that he was even fired from that position. That's that that might be true, but and it's just a little odd. Up four two wearing this stuff. I mean, like, it, it, every time I come up here, I mean, like, they don't, all they say is, it's just odd, I never see it. I was right. like, well, I mean, like, well, guess what? Yeah, I like wearing it. Just like in Tennessee, I've got pulled up for it, and guess what? Yeah, I'm not saying it's against the law or anything, it's just And I've even odd. had it taken off, and I've had it set right here before, and they're like, and I get I get yelled at for it, they're just like, yeah. well, it's kind of weird that you got your belt and your vest. You got any kind of employment identification? Dude, they don't give me that when you work at the jail. Really? You don't have like an access card or an ID badge or anything for the facility that you work at? I don't. I can, I can show you my face though. That helps you. This is a line. Jones had on a vest and a duty belt with knives and other deputy gear. The police were taken aback by what they saw inside the automobile after quickly realizing that something was odd. That's beside the fact you're wearing a patch that says sheriff. I, I, That's impersonating law enforcement. I've worn all the time at the jail before, though. Okay, well that might be true and fine within the jail, but when you come out to public, you don't have any arrest powers. You don't. You're not commissioned. I just, I'll just, Do you understand? I understand that. I don't understand what's going on. And about. you got alcohol in the vehicle. Well, it's not mine. Well, that's beside the point. It's my girlfriend, but, and I don't drink, so well, it, it I, doesn't. It doesn't matter. You realize transporting open container, if any of that's opened or partially uh, missing, that it doesn't matter whose it is. If you're in the vehicle with it, you can be arrested for uh, transporting op open container. Well, I mean, like I said, it's 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 not. I literally. It's not mine, man. She bought it. You, she lives over there in Luther. Have and, you ever heard the phrase when guys get hemmed up for drugs in their pockets and they say these pants aren't mine? 
you realize how stupid Hayden County, I cleared traffic at 0955. Okay. Upon speaking with him, the deputies concluded that something was off and chose to place him under arrest while they carried out more investigation. I don't you don't mind if I search the car? I don't think it's search the car. Okay, cool. Step on out if you don't mind. Okay. Let's grab the cord there. Alright, face the vehicle. I'll just check you for, make sure you don't have any guns or nothing. Okay. Alright, if you wouldn't, that's fine. If you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take the vest off and just set it in the car. <coughs> so, do you wear this vest carrier on duty? No. In the jail? I mean, like I can. I usually wear it under my hood shirt. Okay. What vehicle was it that you uh, stopped and talked to? I didn't stop that in no vehicle. No, I mean, you said that you stopped and talked you to talked somebody. You talked to him. And it was, some, it was some truck, but then he left out of the parking lot. Okay. okay. But all I did, literally, I went up to Let's him. go ahead and get the vest off for me. And the only reason I'm having you take it off is so I don't have to worry about the knives or anything you may have on you. Really? After detaining Jones and putting him in the back of the police cruiser, the cops searched his automobile. In the process of searching, they found an open container. Okay, so RP says he didn't actually see anybody, him stop and talk to anybody like, oh, okay. He just, he was sit, he was parked five into a parking spot. We're not looking to take you to jail, but we're not looking to do We that. want to talk to a supervisor. I don't care if you take your whole shit. Like the nasty shit, I don't care if you take it. I mean, you okay. gotta keep me on the phone. But we, we want to talk to a supervisor. I mean, it's on my phone. In your phone? All right, I'll go grab it. You haven't been to work in two weeks? So you haven't been to work in two weeks, but you're wearing the uniform pants duty style looking shoes and a vest carrier? Well, I mean, like, I, I'm trying to go back to work, but, I mean, they're, that, my cousin's a gentleman, so, yeah. <coughs> trying to be a cop up here, but now you guys are lying. When the caller showed up at the scene, Jones' responses started to make no sense, and the caller gave the cops all the information that they needed. Second. All right, tell me exactly what you just said. Because he was dressed like a cop. Yeah. He had a sheriff thing, but it had sheriff written on the side right here. Right. And I live on 62 off of Adam Road. He was sitting in a driveway. 251. Right beside 62 Highway. And I pulled up and I was staring at him because he was in there kind of cockeyed. And I was like, we live on a one uh, one way in, one way out. And, you know, we all, we always are watching for cars. And I sat there and I was staring at him. And uh, I stared about 10 minutes of staring at him. And I was like, hey, who's this guy? It's kind of odd. He's in, 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 our neighbor's driveway. And I sat there and stared at him, stared at him, and I drove off. And he got right behind me, so I followed him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's driving along. He was right on my, right on me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to pull this on and get up. And this is from over there by the Harry Agnes. Compared to the fake cop, the caller narrated a very different scenario, and things were about to get even worse. And uh, I said, uh, what brings to be a cop? Is it like, uh, is it in a family or whatever? You know, trying to just talk to him. He goes, yeah, uh, uh, a lot of my family are cops and stuff. And that's what we come, I became a cop when I was 18. And then uh, he goes, uh, well, I got a call. I got to let you go. And he left. And then when he left, he came towards uh, by the uh, bridge uh, on a uh, turnpike bridge. And he took Huey and was trying to pull another car. He started flashing his lights at him. Really? And I, I didn't know if, if they pulled over or not, but he was flashing his lights like he was trying to pull them over. I was like, that's kind of strange. Right. I got home as well. I go and tell my wife. I was like, oh, this caller pulled me over. And I was talking to this guy. And I was trying to see if he was oh, yeah, because we got a cop friend that lives in Wellston. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call him later on when he wakes up to see if he works nice yet to see if he's really, that guy really a cop. It was odd how he was acting. I got you. Can you hang out here for a minute? Yeah. All right. Don't go nowhere, okay? All right. 
After discovering the truth, the cops proceeded to arrest Jones despite his pleas. Well, All right, turn around, face the other way. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest for impersonating law enforcement, all right? And then you also have a charge for transporting an open container. Wow, my girlfriend could pick up my phone. Yeah. Okay, so now it's my girlfriend's disability. Uh, so she'll have to show proof of ownership. So if you get bonded out or whatever, then you'll be able to get it out. Okay. You'll be at the Oklahoma County Detention Center. Who's that? It's our detention center. It's our jail. I mean, it's pretty good size. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people that go to prison say it's the worst place to be. Yeah, it's not a good place. Yeah, our our county jail sucks. Well, it was small. Oh, this this one's big. A lot of people in it. Six. Six cells. Six. Yeah, it's like six, like that. Oh, we, like that. we have uh, we have team. 200 cells on the floor, and we've got 13 floors. After being led to the police station, Jones was accused of carrying an open container and pretending to be a police officer. The cops also learned that he had been fired from his position as a jail administrator for having impersonated a police officer in the past. It appears that this is a mental problem, and maybe some time behind bars would help him. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw some of the worst police impersonators around. The second person who was roaming around acting like a sheriff's deputy and pulling people over was really concerning. Fortunately, law officials move quickly to stop any significant damage from happening. Let's hope that these arrests and charges serve as a wake-up call. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we saw some of the craziest cases where ordinary citizens tried to impersonate law enforcement. It was satisfying to see these individuals arrested for their crimes. We hope no one else attempts this, as it could lead to devastating consequences. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.